My name is Sadie Crumstead and I'm a, a breastfeeding support volunteer within the CRCH Trust. A breastfeeding peer supporter is um, a mother who's had breastfeeding um, experience herself. Um, who's then received training in how to support other mothers with breastfeeding. Hi, I'm Karen Langston. Um, I am new to volunteering. I've been doing um, peer support breastfeeding volunteering and love the experience and love working alongside Sadie. I'm based at Wingfield Children's Centre and also I was also based at the Edgeware Birth Centre. It's a wonderful service to have here in the centre um, because mums can just drop in, they can just kind of come down um, and not be made to feel uh, inadequate or that they're not doing a good job or that they're failing. Um, it's very personal so they can come and they get, you know, one-to-one -one kind of like support um, and they're really listened to and really supported so it's, it's not judgmental at all. There could be many reasons why a, a mother kind of experiences, you know, breastfeeding difficulties. I mean, it's tough. It's tough breastfeeding and, you know, it can be uh, low milk supply, it can be that the baby's not latching. So, you know, there are many, it's very individual to why kind of mums kind of find breastfeeding difficult. So, you know, it's, it's allowing them to really kind of, you have to be a good listener and it's really allowing them to talk to you um, so then you can just kind of offer gentle kind of suggestions and recommendations. Breastfeeding is a, it's a very natural thing but it's also a skill and it's something that you and your baby have to learn together and it's a new skill um, and it's not the same many generations ago where you might have seen it everywhere and you would have subconsciously visually have learned that so a lot of mothers are coming into it um, with kind of starting at zero with not any experience or not really truly knowing what to expect so it can be quite overwhelming. You kind of come in each week and you never know who you're going to meet so um, that's 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 really nice you know there's always uh, a new mum that's coming in with a specific kind of question or concern and she goes away you see her going away kind of like really feeling quite empowered the fact that she's got some tips to take away with her, some handouts and some really good advice and I think that um, because our peer supporters have their own personal experience in the subject that we're supporting in it makes the service um, so much more personable and there's that being able to relate as peers and really having that empathy and being able to put yourself in the other person's shoes. So I find that um, a lot of mums feel it's one of the first times they feel really heard, really listened to and understood. Mums who, you know, are unsure and really struggling kind of with breastfeeding go away feeling a lot more confident uh, and know that there is somebody that they can refer back to. Well, I would really hope that after the mothers have attended a few times that, um, they would leave feeling that they've got the adequate support and solutions to whatever issues or problems they've encountered. Um, that they would feel empowered and educated um, and hopefully that they have on their, on their way to having a successful breastfeeding journey. Mm -hmm. And that they know that the uh, support group are here weekly and that they can come back at any time, even if they feel that breastfeeding is going really well, that they can come back to the uh, centre and, and just be part of the group and support other mums as well. Personally, I find it very rewarding, um, especially supporting really young mothers. Um, I think because especially because they're going through a like, tran transitional phase where it, it's, there's still that uncertainty and worrying about what other people think and their opinions and um, formula feeding is um, it's more normal, it's more widely seen um, so when they attempt to try to breastfeed and they're really successful and it goes really well it's a really positive experience for them I always feel really um, like I've achieved something really lovely and we've shared something really special. Just to add really that again it's been so wonderful coming here and seeing so many young mums you know doing kind of long-term breastfeeding which is wonderful to see um, and also you know mums that come in looking really stressed and anxious 
but you see them kind of going out of the door kind of like you know with a, a mm. smile on their face and and feeling reassured you know I'd say kind of like being a breast a peer breastfeeding support uh, volunteer is just so rewarding and I think if you yourself have been a mum who have either had you know not such a great uh, experience of breastfeeding or you've had a really fantastic experience you know it's it's really worth kind of getting involved and supporting other mums that are out there who you know are finding it hard. I wanted to get into volunteering um, because I felt that it was a really valuable way to share my experience um, and to give back everything that I had gained from my experience and to share with other mothers. For me, um, my experience had been slightly different with my own sons back 20 plus years ago, um, that I felt I didn't have great support and I really wanted to kind of increase my knowledge and understanding and skills to be able to support new mums that come along to other groups that I manage as well. If someone was thinking about doing volunteering, I would say to them, um, do it. Um, before I had my daughter, I hadn't done a huge amount of volunteering, but um, after having her and having such a positive breastfeeding experience, um, and also meeting other mum mothers who um, shared with me how much um, much difference it made to their experience receiving such wonderful support from a volunteer that took them on a completely different path than if they hadn't received it. It made me feel like I was really able to make a difference and that feels like very positively rewarding. Yeah. I think you just feel very valued as well. You know, the service is a fantastic service and you feel very valued being a volunteer and you ongoing learning things every Every time I come here, I learn something new. So, um, yeah, just do it. <laughs>